Welcome back, everyone. It is Tasty Thursday. So joining us now is Chef uh, Kevin Witten right here and Richard Everett from, I love this name, Uncle Billy's Brew and Q and Brewery. I love it. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, tell us uh, what you're making today, Kevin, for us. I'm making a bacon and spinach frisee salad uh, with a bacon vinaigrette, smoked shallots, and goat cheese with orange zest. You got me a bacon. <laughs> How could you go wrong with that? You get everybody a bacon. <laughs> All right, so it is Austin Beer Week, in case you didn't know. And so you guys are doing something um, really cool over there, right? Tell us about it, Richard. We are. Why don't you go ahead and make this, Kevin? Uh, this week, we... Um this week we've uh, had different features throughout the week. Uh, the big feature that we have this week is on Friday we're going to be doing our pint night and what we what we do is we have half price pints all night long. Uh -huh. So that's going to end the beer week. We had cast night last night. Uh, we've been uh, doing different tastings throughout the week. We're kind of leading this up into doing our brewer's dinner which is going to be Sunday, right. November the 4th. Okay. Um, that's going to be, this is one of the items that Kevin's going to be preparing for that meal. It's going to be a five course meal. And do you recommend reservations for that? Or? I, I do. We are okay. booking pretty fast. We're kind of tying it into meeting our new brewer mm -hmm. that we have on premise as well, okay. so, which we're very, very excited about also. Okay, so what would you pair with this dish right here? What would be the best beer, you would think? This is being paired with the Agave Wit. Okay. Uh, the Agave Wit is a Belgian style uh, Hefweizen. Uh -huh. It has Belgian yeast, coriander, and uh, orange peel in it. Oh, right. And a little orange peel in the dish, right? Exactly. Tell us about what the ingredients are with this one. Well, the bacon. ingredients, yes, uh, <laughs> we, of course the bacon, <laughs> and we have spinach and frisee. Frisee is a root vegetable, mm -hmm. and uh, we have, of course, the baby spinach, and we have our goat cheese, our orange juice, and we have two kinds of shallots. We have smoked shallots, and we have uh, Raw shallots are going to go in with the bacon. Okay. And we have apple cider vinegar, salt and pepper, and olive oil. Kind of seems like a good, um, maybe fall dish or kind of one that you would enjoy, you know, with this kind of temperature out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Most definitely. All right. Uh, a little bit about the uh, the restaurant over there. What can you tell us, Richard? Uh, well, we've been open uh, for six years now. Uh, we do brew our own beer. We're one of the few places in town that do have a brewery on site. Uh -huh. uh, we have the freshest beer in town. Uh, we have our new brewer, which is Michael Waters. He's coming to us from Independence Brewing Company. So we're very, like I said, mentioned before, we're very excited about that. Let me ask you something about that. Do you see a demand of people who are wanting to have more of this fresh kind of beer? Absolutely. The craft beer movement is, is big in Austin. It's, uh, it's very much alive. We were fortunate enough to be on the uh, front end of that. Mm -hmm. We've established ourselves in the community and with the uh, former brewers that we've had and they've established a great reputation in town and Michael's only going to exceed that reputation and keep it alive. So uh, we, will, we will definitely be, be a name in this in this industry for a long time. So for somebody who maybe doesn't know a lot about beer or even to those who really know a lot about it, is there something for everybody when it comes to food and to drinks? Oh, absolutely. We have, you know, what's called gateway craft beer. So okay. something that somebody's not used to getting into if they're trying to make the transition from a mass market beer to something, we have beers for that. Uh -huh. We also have beers for the more advanced palate and the more knowledgeable people. And that's what's great about Michael is he's able to to brew to the masses and brew to the connoisseurs as well. So oh. it's, it's we we try to make beer for everyone. And for the foodies out there, you got Kevin. <laughs> you got Kevin. Yeah, I don't want to leave Kevin out. Kevin does a great job. Uh, we just revamped our menu. Uh, we have a new menu in place, our new lunch menu. Okay. We have dishes that start out at $5.99, Monday through Friday. Uh, we smoke all of our own meats in-house. Uh, everything is made from scratch. Nice. Nothing's uh, nothing's brought in from outside. Fresh fresh produce every day. So it's, he takes a lot of pride in what he does. There. All right, from the drinks to the food. Thank you both for being here. The location, one more time, so I can get it out there. It is 1530 Barton Springs Road. All right, easy to find. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, that's the Tasty Thursday.